when I, uh, when I, you know, when I first um, thought about doing something over here, um, it was kind of um, a, a very interesting process because when I first moved to, to Houston, I became aware of how bellicose people can be. Um, I mean, I have never seen, I love living here, but I have never seen so many people carrying guns and caring about those guns or, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of attention to guns and a lot of money and effort uh, very much focused on, on, on that. So on the other hand, uh, all the speeches, all the books, uh, all the lessons that I was given in Brazil about spiritism and all the messages about love and the need for us to learn how to love one another, forgiveness, harmony, etc. So all of that built who I am and uh, pretty much set my, set my mind on this constant seek for peace, as well as convinced me uh, that the more we evolve, the less we need guns, for instance, or uh, the better the quality of our thoughts, the more loving and caring beings we become. So here in Texas, I was given a chance to uh, live a decent life, raise and educate my, my two sons. So I decided after all these years that it was my turn to say thank you. Thank you for, uh, you know, for having me. Thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to, to raise my family here. And uh, so I, I, I thought it was the time for me to contribute with something, right? So by then I recalled that conversation that I have had 10 years ago with, with that mentor uh, uh, of the Spiritist Center that I visited in Brazil. So he was telling me about the job that I, I had to do over here. So uh, one night I was watching on YouTube this speech from Dr. Paulo Cesar Frutuoso. He's a Brazilian uh, doctor. Uh, and uh, he was talking about his book, uh, which is called The Underlying Face of Medicine. And uh, this book talks about his 40 plus years of experience uh, or of service in this Spiritist Center in Rio de Janeiro. And that when I thought, oh my goodness, I have, you know, I have access to Sonia's work. I have access to uh, all this wonderful information, uh, good knowledge, and I have the privilege to have access to all of that. So, I said, well, uh, we need to share this with people in U.S. Everything was in Portuguese, right? So how come uh, several books that are, all the books that I read, they were in Portuguese. So uh, I said, I need to do something. It's, perhaps it's my turn to do something. I need to bring these people over here. I need to give them a chance to talk to, to the folks here. Uh, this, you know, I, I met several people that, uh, they, they are looking for uh, uh, answers like I was looking for when I was, you know, 20, 25, 30 years old. So uh, on that following day that I, I, I saw the, the, the lecture from Dr. Paulo on YouTube, I, I looked for uh, Dr. Paulo's phone number and I talked to him and uh, I asked, if he was willing to come over and his answer was he was very serious and he said he never met me he, he didn't know who i was so he said um uh listen girl and he was serious i said oh my gosh I, I, what i'm doing here he he will think i'm crazy so he said uh i have heart issues and uh Whenever you call me to, to say those things, you know, if I'm, if I'm willing to travel to U.S., you have to be very, very, you have to do it slowly. 
because otherwise I'm going to do, I'm going to die. I'm going to have something. But he said, I'm extremely happy that you are calling me. I'm extremely excited about the idea. And yes, you can count on me. So immediately he said, yes. And I was so happy at that day. I was extremely happy. I said, okay, so that's the way to go. I have two people already. I have Sonia. I have Dr. Dr. Paulo. But uh, what, what called my attention was the fact that not knowing me, every speaker that I was talking to, all of them, I mean, all of them, they, they said yes. And uh, so, for example, for uh, Dr. Dean Rating, he, uh, I know the, the um, medical society in Brazil, they have called him many, many times, or Dr. Larry Dossett, they have called him many, many times to, to, to come over to Brazil and uh, to present something, and they, they declined. And all of a sudden, me, who knows me, nobody, um, I was calling them and they were, they were saying yes. So I, I thought it was very, very interesting. I was very curious uh, to know why. Uh, so in one day I was talking to Livio Barbosa, which is a, a very talented medium in Brazil. He does uh, those uh, uh, cycle paintings. And uh, he is also a, a, a physical uh, uh, medium. And uh, so one day I was talking to him and uh, Livio's mentor came to talk to me. And uh, he said, I came over here because I know you have questions. And uh, so please go, along, uh, go ahead and ask those questions and uh, I shall answer. And right away I, I, I I asked, okay, so uh, why people say yes if they don't know me? Why, why they are saying yes um, since they have no idea who I am? So his answer was, um, there is a program going on and you are part of it. Now you are giving the, the lead role for this and uh, the speakers, they are just following the leader because they are also engaged on this program that is already in progress. So uh, I was like, wow, this is, this, there's something going on out there and, and, and I do not know. We, we are just playing a role over here, but really we, we think we are doing something, we think we are planning, but in reality we are following a major plan, right? So, uh, so, and that was, was, was the case. I mean, for every person that I was contacting and they were saying, yes. Yeah. So for example, we are going to have, like I said, uh, Livio Barbosa and he will be doing uh, psychic painting. Uh, he, he, will, he is amazing. He, he, uh, I have some painting um, uh, from him. He does painting sometimes you go there, you ask for, for the painting, and you do not know, he doesn't know what's gonna, it's gonna be, but the, the, the spirit uh, or the, the, the real painter uh, that is you know, present at the moment will, will decide whether you are going to have like a past life, you know, the way that you, you look like in a past life, or uh, how your mentor look like, or you know a significant relative or something, but it's it's always amazing. Um, so we are going to have uh, and, and Livy will be painting all the time. So that's that's what he's gonna do. He he will not have a a, a, a speak per se because he will be in trance during the whole seminar, the whole symposium. He will be painting. Uh, so we are going to have Larry Dossi, everybody knows him, uh, uh, so uh, on his uh, um, lecture, Recovering the Soul, so he'll be talking about evidences that the consciousness uh, survives death, so I guess we all know that, but uh, it's always here from a doctor, uh, you know, 
telling us um, data, giving us consistent data. And I like this idea of, um, uh, you know, reliable information. We are going to have uh, Magno Franco. I know Magno for many years and uh, he's like a numerologist. Uh, so he will be talking about this, uh, what he calls Pythagorean numer numerology. And, and uh, he'll be talking about aspects of uh, numerological map and how that uh, works for in our life, you know, aspects of, of that. Um, I think is a, is a very interesting. At the beginning, when I didn't know about this, it was, it was like, uh, you know, how can, you know, numbers can, can influence, can have an impact in our life, but, but it does. And it's amazing. Uh, so uh, the other speaker will be Djalma Motargolo. I know him for many, many years. Very, very uh, talented, experienced, seasoned therapist. And uh, he'll be talking about Jung and uh, the mediumship. So aspects and evidences of Jung's life tell about his, uh, he'll be talking about uh, Jung's experiences with spiritism. And uh, uh, I, I saw this, this, this uh, speech in, in Brazil is a very, very uh, um, interesting one. Dr. Radin will be talking about the, the bridge between science and spirituality. So it's gonna be a, a, a very nice way to, uh, close the, the symposium because it's gonna uh, uh, talk about everything that we will cover during the, the three days. And uh, Dr. Paulo Cesar Frutuoso, he'll be talking about his book, The Underlying Face of Medicine. Uh, Wagner Borges is also a teacher and a very talented medium in Brazil, a uh, very known medium in Brazil, by the way, and uh, he will be talking about the out-of-body experiences. He can do that like um, uh, conscious. He can, he, can, he can do that. And uh, so he will be talking about his experiences and uh, some of the, the encounters that he had with uh, extra physical beings, what he called extra physical beings not only spirits uh, spirits but um, uh, extra physical beings like he said so Guaraciara Homa she is uh, I know her as well for many years she is a psychologist therapist life coach and uh, she'll be talking about the cure in the third millennium and uh, so basically she will be talking about what the medicine of the future will be once we lo learn how to integrate mind, body, and soul. Sonia, everybody knows Sonia, so she'll be talking about recent breakthroughs on, on ITC. And uh, I, was, uh, I was talking to Sonia and I said, Sonia, I want your best presentation ever. I want a breakthrough. And uh, she was like, you want to kill me. You, you always want the, you know. I, I was asking her, uh, she said that uh, I, I am always pushing her way too much. But no, she's, she's playing. So in this, um, in this symposium will take place in a hotel uh, in Houston downtown. Uh, and it's called uh, Omni Hotel, the, the Galleria, and um, it's a very nice hotel I visited and uh, I saw the, the, all the guest rooms. I called the attention that the, the, the symposium is for uh, 500 people. We are targeting 500 people. It's our first time, so it's going to be kind of small, but the hotel uh, um, has a capacity for 400. So um, in the website, there is a link to the hotel. So uh, I recommend the ones that we will be uh, using the hotel to, uh, to hurry up. I just invite people to come over and check on, on this science and spirituality connection. 
Um, it's a lot of work, like I mentioned at the beginning. I didn't realize all the work involved, but Craig was right. And <laughs> it's, it, it is tough, but it is a lot of fun. You know, the, all the challenges, everything that we have to face. I mean, when I think about the the outcome and the, what's going to be, uh, it's, it, mot it motivates me a lot. And, uh, and like I mentioned, um, on the Solar 3, which is the, the company that I, I had to open to handle this, uh, this, this symposium, uh, Solar 3 uh, website, uh, I'm saying that the idea behind this uh, symposium is really to help on people's awareness about the spiritual or consciousness realms and uh, about the time we are living now. We, we are experiencing uh, new theories, new technologies, and um, also the idea is to show why we need to be well informed. Uh, we don't want to tell people what the truth is or where the truth is. We rather want to provide real evidences, real data, sound data, so people can decide, you know, um, what they want to do on their own journey. And uh, we are not connected to any religion. We respect all beliefs uh, that promote peace, love, enlightenment. So, uh, so you know, I have already planned for 20, uh, 2020 symposium. I have already a list of speakers. It's amazing how people, and those speakers, they want to pass the message. Um, I, uh, I start like calling the speakers and inviting them to come over. But today I'm receiving books from people that I, they don't know me. I do not know how they, they, they found my address. So I'm receiving books. I'm receiving phone calls from them. I'm receiving emails from them saying, hey, uh, uh, do you have time? And uh, one thing that I would like to emphasize in this uh, symposium is uh, all the speakers, all of them, they are not charging me a single dollar. They are doing just this for, you know, just because, you know, because they, they understand what their, their role is, and they understand how serious this is, and uh, I highly appreciate that on, on the speakers, and uh, the same way for, for the speakers for 2020. So, believe you or not, I'm already working on 2020 uh, symposium. <laughs>